Hummerids, thank you for tuning in. If you're new to my channel, my name's Kelty. I'm a fitness enthusiast, lover of Avengers, dog. If you have a pet husky and you want to become best friends, just send me pictures. Insta friends. And athletic wear. I have such a passion for it, and that's what I really try and bring on this channel. Show you guys my fitness adventures, it's my love of life, entrepreneurship, and athletic wear. Every month, I try and show you guys my recent Lululemon hauls. By no means, I just want to clarify, am I rich and full of money, and they're just like, no. I am very modest living. I run a tight budget so I can save money and I really encourage financial health and that is why I do these just to provide you guys some reviews, some insight if you're purchasing online and so you are really smart and buy products you absolutely love. I do not want you to waste on products that sit in your closet and never get no use. I just want to clarify how do I afford those Lulu? Because a lot of people ask me and they think I'm sponsored or anything. Why I actually love Lululemon and higher quality fitness gear is it's why am I having a brain fart? It's resale value. Yes, like a car. I know it sounds silly, but Lulu has one of the best resale value of any clothing. If you take good care of it, 80% or more even sometimes, sometimes you even make more, like some things are so limited edition, it actually increases in value if you sell it online. So for every item you see, I must sell one to three items. I try and sell two to three items for every single item I purchase. And also I reserve a little bit of my funds towards buying new athletic wear every month. That's because I don't work a nine to five. I do the whole online fitness thing so I literally live in athletic wear 99% of the time. That's the one thing I do like to splurge on a little bit and that's my little treat to myself. It's my extra money that's where it goes towards and I thought hey how can I give back with that little extra money and kind of make the world go round. Keep a little mess, treat yourself if you want to account for it in your budget. Resell, sell, sustainability. If you have Lulu you don't wear Go and sell it, throw it on eBay, Kijiji, Postmark if you live in the States. Unfortunately, I'm in Canada, we don't have that, but I'm rambling, ramble, Uber. Let's show what I got this month, my favorite items at Lululemon for March that I think you guys like, and let's get the putter started. Number one, we've got the Invigorate Bra, $54. Canadian typical price of most of their sports bras. This bra does have the luxury fabric, so it is sweat wicking and it's gonna stretch in four ways. So that's a nice thing for every single body type. Everyone fits clothing a bit differently, especially athletic wear. So with the four-way stretch, it's nice that no matter if you're a bit bigger here, smaller there, wherever, it's gonna give have a bit of a leeway. This is the same kind of design as the energy bra, which if you guys saw my favorite Lululemon sports bras, it's probably my biggest staple and recommendation. So the front is very similar, very similar fit. So if you are in love with the energy energy bra you'll really like this the difference is oh, in the back this beautiful mesh which is just such a pretty design and of course it's going to add some some ventilation what I do love about Lululemon's uh, mesh is the unfortunate thing when you buy cheaper products with mesh in them you'll notice like it's very stiff and you're kind of stuck with that it's going to have no stretch with Lulu's mesh it is still strong but it does have some give and stretches in all directions which is nice bonus if you have like a stiletto nails do not touch it on your mesh that's gonna go right through it but aside from that just like normal wear and tear it stands up I have the Lululemon mesh tech high times and those have lasted two years and have had no pilling or anything like that I brave the white this is scary for me I've been embracing like the all one color looks right now and I have the Shapori wonder unders from Lulu and I thought the white with those would look so good and especially because spring's coming up and so white with the tan is awesome or if you notice yeah big tan on it already this is a medium support bra, so perfect for a B or C cup. It's not gonna be as supportive for a bigger cup size. Unfortunately, that's not what it's designed for, but it is a bit of a compression feel, so you will feel secure. It's not gonna have really any push up, so if that's what you're looking for. Bit of a thicker waistband um, at the bottom, not like super thick, like the ones that are like this, but it's not skinny, so it's still gonna hold you in place. But I did notice, unless I'm crazy, and this is just a fluke, mine didn't actually come with removable pads. You can put them in, so I don't know if that was on purpose or not, or like someone jacked them. Uh, comment down below if you know, but I have so many. If you need any, I've got like 30 laying around that I don't use. If you love the energy bra, but you want something a bit with more detail and something that's a bit more in with the mesh, 
great option. Okay, with summer around the corner, that means short season. I got a pair of Wonder Under short two. So this is the full on Luan fabric, which is soft, sweat wicking, four way stretch, that is sport and coverage. So you're gonna have stretch and shape retention, aka it's gonna stretch to fit you, but it's gonna bounce back into place after you take it off. So it's not like it stretches and then suddenly you're stuck with something that big and it will really conform to your body a lot more. I love these because they got some added designs. They got like a little, I wanna say pocket. Well, it is a pocket, but it doesn't have a zip, but in the back right there. These are super short with the two inch, but high waisted. So these are really nice if you are gonna do hot yoga or you're gonna do something and you just want a really short short, but you also don't want something that's really low rise, so it's a little bit too much shown. This is the cool with the high waist, it's gonna keep any food babies in for you while also being shorter. The unfortunate part about these, and I'm I'm kind of torn, it's a personal preference, I think it depends on your build, is they do give you a bit of camel toe. They will ride up a bit because they are so short. I do naturally have short legs and I don't have a big butt by any means, so like I don't have the biggest legs in the world and so it does have a tendency to ride up. Maybe if you have a bit more of a butt than me, it would stay in place. Of course, if you have like Kim K butt, there's a chance that it could fall out the bottom because they are so short. These are ones I would definitely, definitely, definitely recommend trying on before you purchase. They are not something to just like buy online because there's a lot that could go wrong. But I just love the high rise and I think they're super comfy for lounging around, doing yoga classes, doing stretching. They are not good for squats, deadlifts, running, anything because if you're going to be running in them, I think you'll have a tendency to pull them down unless you're okay with camel toe. The unfortunate thing is if you don't have a thigh gap, which is nothing wrong. You don't need a thigh gap. If you have a thigh gap, it's cool. It's just, there could be some chaffing uh, in between your thighs if you wear these and run, just because there isn't any material there. So it's just something to be cautious of. There's nothing wrong with having a thigh gap or not. It's just a life. Because if you don't have a thigh gap, you're that much closer to being a mermaid. That is the plus with them. I think they are really meant for yoga and more of those kind of stretching than that but they are short that definitely do the bend over test in the change room before you purchase them otherwise you could go to yoga bend over Ooh -ha. I like these and now why I got these is insert picture here of inspiration from the mannequin and I saw this outfit and I was like oh I really like this just for like lounging around running doing some errands things like that just when it's really hot out is this high rise with a tank top tied into a crop top now distinctly into like a knot at the front like you saw I saw that on the mannequin with my next purchase and yeah I totally I saw it I was like I need that in my life right now the next tank top I got was the love tank so it's a very lightweight tank this is to be your go-to layering piece pre and post workout made with pima con fabric for the ultimate softness and stretch added lycra fiber so that stretch and shape retention we talked about the cool thing i like about this and why they did it with the mannequin is actually is meant to be knotted in the front or back so you'll see it on me it's quite big it's quite long that might turn away some people but that's kind of what they had in mind that you can have it baggy or loose or you can tie it in a knot like i had there to make it a bit more of a crop top and that looks really cute with high-waisted pants because it does give that hour Hourglass illusion because you tie it cinch at the bottom, your high waisted pants come right there, and it just really adds to that hourglass. Line. It is very light, it is kind of sheer in a way. But the idea behind this being loose weight, of course, you can work out with it, but it's really meant to be when you're going to the gym, you throw it on, it's easy to throw off because nothing worse. You get to the gym, you gotta like take off a bazillion layers, and you're just like, ugh. And also, on the flip side, if you're really sweaty after workout, you don't want to put on something really tight, you just throw this on real loose, and you can go to brunch or shopping or go to work or do whatever you get do it is $52 so expensive for a tank top if it's something like this I would take into account how many wears you're gonna get out of it I always say that with a tank top like this it's gonna be $50 are you gonna wear it at least 50 times so you're gonna wear it about once a week for at least a year if that's the case it's worth paying $50 a dollar wear is a very practical purchase but if you know you're gonna get this tank top it's kind of color your iffy about and you're only gonna wear it maybe once or twice four or five times it's not worth it either buy it and sell it right away or just get a cheaper version of it at like forever 21 or garage actually has tank tops like this i bought in in the past not as good quality not as flattering but there's an option if you want a cheap version now for something i am so excited about i had my eyes on it and i wasn't gonna get it and like i went and tried it on in the store and i was like okay maybe if it's like amazing but i saw the email they sent out an email just for this product alone and I was so excited and it lived up like 103% times a bazillion that didn't make any sense to the hype and I totally get it their new bomber oh my god 
Ah, I already took the tape off because I already wore it because uh, no patience. I had to wear this to the basketball game on Thursday because it looks hella fly in the gym, outside the gym. Like this is such a versatile jacket. I can't get over it. It's famous clothing, Kelsey Breathe. This is a non-stop bomber. Two looks in one. So it's a reversible jacket. It locks in heat, protects you from light rain. So it's not waterproof. It'd be water resistant. Two-way stretch, water repellent, swift fabric. It's durable, lightweight. Prima loft insulation offers great heat retention, making it a go for cold, wet weather. Pockets on both sides. And hidden media pocket lets you keep your tunes close. This thing, yes, it is inexpensive. It is $138. But this is my new spring and fall jacket. And that's what I committed to. I haven't had like a new staple jacket for a long time. I, I just did my jacket reviews but there's still I haven't purchased a new one in a very long time that's kind of my go-to outside of my winter jacket and this is it I'll be wearing it pretty much every day for the next while unfortunate thing is they have a beautiful beautiful rose gold one and I think it's only online I impulsed and got the olive green I don't regret it but check online if they still have it it is gorgeous oh my god I know this like video will not do it justice by any means but it is amazing at first you think of bombers, you think of them kind of tight and stiff, pushy and puffy and just like makes you feel like the Michelin man because that's in essence what they are a lot of the times. This isn't that, this is flattering. If you think of like a sleeping bag that you can stuff into like a little bag like that, that's kind of, and how flexible it is, you can fit things under it, it's short. This material around the cuff and the bottom is very, it might be, I'm sorry if I'm sounding uh, dumb, but like the new Lux material or it's actually very similar to this long sleeve I have on right now. It's just like squishy and soft and silky and bendable and it's so comfy. This silky side is so nice against your skin, but the flip side is also nice as well and it just kind of is a cool textured feel like so. So you can see the difference. It's got pockets on both sides like here. How it works is the zipper is reversible on both sides like that. I personally prefer the bomber side. Bombers are really in right now. It's a nice staple to have. They, this comes in, I believe, the olive green, which is the I got. I saw it in black. And then, of course, the beautiful rose gold, which kind of, that's rose gold. It's almost like a very light gray with like the hintest bit of rosy light pink to it. This is an unbelievable jacket. Like I don't, I wish I'd gotten this before I did the jacket review because this would be my number one. It is my current favorite thing from Lululemon. It is expensive. If you try it on and you're not like head over heels like I am, don't buy it. It's too expensive. But if you get it and you have the same feeling about me, you're going to get a lot of wear of this bad boy. Especially I live in Halifax. It's a very humid climate. So rain kind of happens all over the place. It's very like a light drizzle all the time. If you live in a climate like that, this is perfect for it because it does have that water resistance to it. So you're not going to feel damp all the time. It's not a rain jacket. Keep that in mind, but it's a great option in case you know it might randomly spurt rain sometime in the day. So those are the four items I got from Lululemon. I'm sorry. I'm really excited about it. I swear it's because it's springtime now or it's not spring. Days are getting longer. There's more sun and I'm such a nature baby energizer. I don't know what kind of word to call it. And when the sun's there, I just have so much energy. So expect a lot more videos for me. And it's kind of sad when it's dark out. I just feel kind of like gloomy and as soon as it gets sunny out I'm like let's do all the things so that's probably why my energy is like up here right now or because I chugged the monster Anyways, so there is my Lululemon try on and haul for you guys. Let me know what your favorite items at Lululemon for the month of March are. Comment those below. If any of you had tried any of these items, I would love for you to leave your review at the bottom. That's a really cool thing about what I always have going on in the comment section is that we get secondary reviews from other people. So you get my review and then you hear from other people because of course every person has a different lifestyle. We all have different body types. So some things that might feel great and fit me well won't fit someone else as well. On the flip side, some things will look gorgeous on you and I will look like a sack of potatoes. All about what works best for you, but I love bringing you guys these videos so you can make informed decisions. So when you buy Lululemon, you get down to a dollar wear or more, you wear it into the ground. And if you don't, and if you purchase something, like I said, sell it. So this video is getting quite long, almost 20 minutes. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Thank you for tuning in. Like always, my fellow mermaids, it means so much to me. Honestly, like I've had so much fun. It's approaching close to a year and also approaching close to 5,000 subscribers. That blows my freaking mind like thank you so much i'd love to do this with you guys and yes i will have a 5,000 subscriber giveaway i have a few items that i've featured on this channel that i will be giving away i will let you know the contest details very soon athletic wear prize pack to give you guys it's just out of my own pocket not sponsored i just want to give back to you guys because you've given me so much fun over the last april may june july 
Yeah, about a year. About a year. About like 10 to 12 months. But yes, thank you. I will stop rambling. I have things to do. You have things to do. Have a great day. I love you all so much.